We can achieve more love in our lives by remembering that love's an attribute of God and of us. And so there's really not a lack of it. There's only a lack if we believe it. And taking time to feel love, to remember if, if we're feeling lonesome, to remember a loving time and bring it into our heart reminds us that love is really there all the time and opens us to love. We can achieve peace by thinking of anyone in our lives with whom we're angry or disappointed and looking past our actions to see and know the truth of them. That deep down they want love and good just as we all do, whether their actions show it or not. I did this, there was a situation that has been kind of occurring that where I felt like a person was acting in harmful ways and I really took some time to just meditate to know that they are love, they are God expressing and that their actions are a cry of love although they don't you know get the result they're <laughs> they're wanting it's like the little girl that I taught uh, second grade to who didn't know how to be friends with people and she would hit them. So she was reaching out, I want friends, but of course, you know, the kids didn't like getting hit. So, <laughs> but, but I really took some time to know this person is love, is God, and it was just so beautiful because it seemed like, an, uh, like a transformation overcame them. And it can overcome them, our love and our beauty and are knowing the truth of them if they're open to it. And it certainly brings us peace. We can make wise decisions by opening to that God attribute of wisdom that really is, we, is us expressing at the individualized level. There's no block between the infinite mind and our mind. We're all one in it. The only block is created if we believe it. And then God law always has to say yes. So we can unimagine the block and know the truth. If we have trouble opening to our good, it's time to step up our spiritual practice and to do regular prayer treatment and meditation. To do it every day, to do it as many times a day as we need to do it, to feel oneness, to feel love, to remember the truth, and to accept our good. It doesn't have to take a long time. Although many of the people who've achieved a strong consciousness of oneness do spend a significant amount of time meditating and treating or doing some form of prayer. So remember, the tools are here. We have classes to help remind us and teach us what we need to know of science of mind principle and practice. That we have books and CDs to listen to, to refocus on the truth. We have practitioners and ministers available to help us. And even spending time in nature, if you can't go out to the beach or the mountains to go outside and look at the sky and at the mountains that surround us and see a greater picture of what is here. Let's remember to leave 2010 in gratitude for our good. Let's remember that we're not stuck in any situation unless we keep believing we are, unless we believe the circumstances and the form have power. They don't, they're results. The cause is in mind, in consciousness. The power is in spirit. And you are one in spirit. There's a little book by Emmett Fox called um, 
make life worthwhile. And it's very simple, easy to read. I picked it up, I just flipped it open, and he's got a little to-do list. It's called Just What to Do. I thought, all right, you know, when I'm stuck, I can just read his little to-do list. This is it. If a new problem arises, go back to basic principle. If an old problem continues to stick, go back to basic principle. If everything seems to be sticking, go back to basic principle. If you feel depressed or discouraged, go back to basic principle. If you find yourself nervous or even frightened, go back to basic principles. If someone is being troublesome, go back to basic principles. And if you want to make faster progress than you seem to be doing, go back to basic principles. So he's got it all figured out for us. <laughs> so let's know deep in our hearts that we can begin life again every second. We can create new causes by our beliefs which God law will use to create new results. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Thinking in the heart is believing. What have you been believing to create what you have in your life? And what are you going to start believing to create the new results that you want in your life? Consider how you're going to begin again in 2011. Ponder it. Focus on your desire. And know it is here for you. Accept the blessing of infinite possibilities awaiting you and your new beginning will reflect those wonderful possibilities. What will you choose? Love? Joy? Health? Wealth? Peace? Or all of them? I'm for all of them. Namaste.